Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to People Mover Inc. Where, uh, well, uh, some time has passed and uh, there's 12 million in the bank, uh, which should be enough to get started on the next project. So, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, while you were away, I cleaned up the intercity uh, road connections through from the Garland, Durham, Waco, Tampa, Fontana line. And this is the this is the uh, path that the next rail line is going to take. Now, the problem here is I need to run through Durham uh, and uh, reach a station here at uh, Durham. And I want to avoid the... Uh, I want to avoid problems with um, uh, trains coming in and then backing out again. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't want it to be an end station, right? For any of the lines running through it. So, uh, but, uh, it's going to be the terminal, terminus station for the line coming through Columbia, right? And, uh, maybe a terminus for another line that goes off, I don't know, up to norman and birmingham and new orleans or something like that right but it's going to be it's going to be a term a terminus for at least uh one uh at least uh, at least this one line so uh what i'm going to do actually is move the station uh is i'm going to come down from garland i'm going to come down over here right and then come down along and go through uh you know, well, actually, no, I probably want to come down through here on this side. Yeah, uh, I'll come down through, I'll come onto this track, and we'll come through Waco, and then on through Tampa, and so on, right? That's the idea. Now, uh, where, sh where should I put this, the station if I'm going to do that? Well, uh, I'm thinking the station should probably go down here. I mean, that's a fair bit from the rest of the town, isn't it? But if the station goes down here, then this bend here uh, can uh, can remain, and it, uh, it and it will connect into the uh, it can connect into the the station footprint, right? Uh, and that could also allow. Uh, could also allow a continuing connection out to Norman as well, uh, but it also connects in with the Waco uh, Garland connection here. Uh, so that's the idea. I'm going to put the station in here. Now there's no lines running on this track. It's just a connector track that I used to launch the trains last time. So the first step here, I'm going to pause it while I do this. So I need to be able to uh, uh, slot in a station here, right? So let's, um, yeah, let's let's take the uh, the track out there. Yeah. Okay. Now, what am I going to need here? Well, I'm obviously going to need a rail station, right? Uh, and it's going to need uh, two tracks for the line that that we're uh, putting in here. And I I think. Ultimately, I'm going to leave it at the two tracks uh, initially here. Uh, no, I keep wanting to use the mouse button to rotate. Uh, now, if I stick it down here, yeah, I think that, well, if I were to go to a 160 meter station, I, uh, yeah, if I put the station down there, Yeah, that would work. Um, hmm. Yeah. So if I make it 120 and then take out the bottom part of the station. Yeah, that'll give me what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, right, so, the explanation. I want to just use an 80 meter station. 
but I wanted it located exactly in the middle there. Uh, and to do that, I needed to uh, get the uh, module length there accurately. Uh huh. There we go. So that gets a uh, a connection in there. And I guess I'm going to need to run a track out here some distance. Uh, I don't know, like that. And I'm going to need to run a track up this way. Uh, uh, something like that, maybe. You know, get a uh, road crossing in there. Uh, if, if you're not aware, that's a trick to get a level uh, road crossing with an existing track. Otherwise, you get things like... Uh, no, 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 we'll do it on this side. Otherwise, you get it doing... Well, it's not going to do it there. Uh, no, it's not going to do it at that one. Uh, otherwise, you get it doing uh, funky things like um, putting tiny bumps in there. Uh, right. Now, I need to go straight out the end here, right? So, if I do... No, no, no. we got to come up this way. So, if I do a straight... Yeah. <clears throat> and if I do this... Yep, that gets me a straight uh, connection there. And I can do the same thing over here. So I want to have the dual track stuff happening at the junction point there. So there's somewhere for trains to wait. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to run the track straight out this way. Okay, get it out of the town. Uh, and we can actually come all the way up to there. I kind of like the track being on a wonky angle compared to the road. That's, uh, it's an aesthetic, right? And it just, it makes it look less directly planned, right? Now, if I do this, um, is it really going to just do the right thing? Huh. It usually doesn't. So I'm going to need a little bit more of a uh, a length here for a waiting track. And I think back to here is far enough. Yeah, I think that is far enough. And I think back to here is probably far enough. No, it's not. I'm going to make that a little bit longer. Uh, yeah, over this road, I think. Uh, right. Okay, so if we do... Yeah, see, this is what I, I meant. See, this little uh, slope here, right? Uh, that's what happens if you aren't paying attention. But if you do a shorter piece, you can often get a dead level crossing there. Uh, now, uh, if I do this... Right? And then I can come around and do this. Right. Okay. Now, I'm going to also need a crossover over here. Uh, I When I uh, expand the station, I will change uh, where the, uh, the tracks uh, connect in. Uh, that, but for now, we'll just have a crossover there. Uh, now, this is going to require some signals, so we'll need one here. Uh, one here, one here, one here, and one about here. Okay. And also on this side, need one here and one here, right? Okay, so that gives us the new station for, uh, for Durham. Uh, and all I need to do now is get the... Uh, station connected up to the local transport network. Now that's going to require some uh, road building. No, uh, and here I can just go ahead and 
put a road right in front of the station building here. Just like this. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where the actual uh, road would go here. Uh, let's just see. No. No, it's not clear at all. Okay. Well, if that's going to be the case, uh, I can just come up and uh, bring a road up just like that. Yeah. And uh, bring a road in just like that. Yeah. And that puts this, uh, this station here, uh, this road station, in the catchment of the train station. And I could also bring this road down like this. Yeah. And you know what? I think I should just build the road that's going to go into this area. Yeah, that does seem like it might be the thing to do. Uh, curve that, yeah. And upgrade that piece just for sanity, yeah. So that gives us uh, a plausible road set up in that area uh, that buildings can build into until I decide to demolish everything, right? Now, there's one more thing we need to do, and that's to take the... Uh, the Durham line uh, and where we have Durham we're going to add Durham exchange and we're going to remove Durham yep and we're going to rename this to just Durham okay uh, and that should mean there are no there's nothing there Okay, so if we close that, I've only spent a couple million, a few million on this, but we'll let things get moving here. And then once that train's out, I'll pause it and we'll uh, get rid of this station. And then I'll put the track back. Whee! There we go. Uh, okay, so that's moved the Durham station. Uh, and that's, um, that was a fairly substantial project, really, uh, in that it cost a, a fair bit. Uh, and what I'm going to do, uh, while I'm thinking about it, is uh, put that road through, and this road through. Yeah, okay. No, that one can be a small road. Uh, why did I do that? Simply, uh, simply put, it gives a uh, a few more crossing points. That that's really what it comes down to. Now, what do I need to do from this point? Well, I need to put a station up in Garland, and it won't doesn't really matter where I put it up here. So uh, I can just go ahead and uh, grab the uh, station. I only need one track at this one. Uh, Eighty meters will do. And if we just, what, what were we colliding? Okay, if we just uh, stick it in, I don't know, right about there? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, that'll do. Uh, so now just grab a track. Right. Do this. Make it, if I make it level coming out of there. Yeah, we'll make it level coming out of there. Um, okay, yeah, I think I'm going to want a, a second uh, track here, yeah, yeah, that does seem like it's probably not the worst idea in the world, um, which side is that one on? Okay, so this is the main track side. 
So we do that. Come out here. This is so we can have a train waiting at the, at the end here, right? Now, if we just come straight out here... Oh, nice. I can just run at level. Okay. And we come out here. Oh, that's going to work perfectly, actually. Uh, I'm going to need to back that up just ever so slightly, right? Uh, and then... We can put a nice curve in there. Yeah, that uh, that's a uh, reasonable uh, setup for a uh, rail thing. Now let's see the catchment here. Uh, it's a chunk of the town. It's enough to get things started. Okay, well, you're going to need a signal or two on there. Yeah, I'm going to need one here and one here. Yeah, okay. Now, from Durham... We're going down into Waco, where we already have a station. And then from Waco, we go into Tampa. Now, for Tampa, uh, I also uh, will probably want a connection out of Tampa. Uh, coming this way? Maybe. Uh, but I will be... Or Fortune, yeah, yeah, Tampa maybe. Uh, but I I want to go to to Fontana at the very least. So, if I put the station right in the middle, actually, yeah, I think that'll work the best. Okay, so if I grab a station, I want it on this side. Um, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, I think I want it over here. Okay, so put it here. No. Yeah, we'll put it here. So if I put it there, yeah, that should work. Okay, so if I put it there, bam, yeah. Then I need to get around and come this way. How am I going to do that? Well, you're probably going to do it by building a track. Can we... No, we're going to have to come out some distance here flat i think now can we go around no we need to go a little further okay now can we go around okay so that is theoretically doable so i want to i want a track that comes around like that okay so that's what i'm aiming for Bam. Bam. Okay. Then I will need a second track around the corner here. Yeah. What? No. Okay. So, that's a second track. Uh, which will come around like that. Okay. This will come around like this. And... Merge in. Okay. And then this track... Comes straight out this way. And then... Comes on to here. Okay. Uh, that, I think, is exactly what I want here. So this is going to be, no, a uh, configure. Uh, and I want tracks, two of them, platforms, passenger, uh, underpass, and 
roof. There we go. Now, I can go ahead and connect it here. Right. And then, we're heading to Fontana. Right? So, we'll come out straight. Right? Like that. And like that. Okay. Uh, come out just a little bit. Now nah, we'll do it on this side. Come out just a little bit further. And merge. There we go. Uh, we'll need a signal or two. One here. One here. One here. One here. And... Which side did we merge on? Uh-huh. Right. That didn't come out quite the direction I wanted it to, so we'll just rebuild it. Right. So track comes out flat. Uh, comes out. Yep. Comes out to about there. Merges. And then this guy can come up to here. Yeah. And this guy comes up to here. And then you click the right thing. It'll work. Uh-huh. There we go. Yes. Okay. And then we need a signal here. Good. Okay. Now, I just need to put the station in Fontana, which should be a quick little uh, build here, because this is nothing special. I am going to put the two tracks in right away, though. I forgot to do it the last time, but yeah, we'll do it this time. Okay, so, bam. There we go. Uh, tracks. Uh, which side did I merge on? That side. Okay. Uh... Yeah, okay, so this can come in like that. Uh-huh. And it can just keep on going. Yeah, it can. Just like this. Nice and easy. And then... Yeah. A nice, easy uh, running there uh i guess we'll uh bring the connection thing out there need a uh, cross there yep and i think we have enough uh i think we have enough cash for several trains so uh we will have a signal there and a signal there. Okay, now we can chuck trains at this new uh, this new set of track here. Uh, that is going to require uh, coming out to the depot, and we'll buy the only thing we can, that, and three of those. And I think three trains on here will be enough. Uh, so we'll go and we'll add a new line. And we'll pause while we do this. We're going to Garland, Durham, Waco, Tampa, Fontana, Tampa, Waco, Durham. We're good. So this is Garland to Fontana. Okay. Now, uh, we've got a bit of an adventure here. Uh, how about we uh, ride a train as it launches? Uh-huh. There we go. We're headed for Durham. So let's, uh, let's just observe it here. Uh, first, we come out of the uh, the depot, and that's fine. Um, and we wait 
for a train going somewhere from a place to a place. There's a train coming from a place to a place. Off it goes. Off we go. So we're going to come into uh, Durham here, uh, past the old station site. I should have left the old station site in place. I really should have. Then we come up here onto the uh, new line, come into the new station. And we'll pick up a whole two people. Yeah. And now we're heading on to Waco, which, uh, as we recall, had the existing station, right? And here we go, into the Waco station. Oh look, we picked up a few people there too. And now we go straight on through uh, toward Tampa. And this is going to be a slightly uh, different uh, setup. Now, no, these two towns are really close together. So this is basically, they're going to grow together. So we come through here. Uh... We split to the double track, we come around, a little bit wonky there, but that's to be expected. And then we stop here. Yeah, we're, we are moving past, and then we come out, and now we're heading for Fontana. Yeah, I think that whole uh, setup works. And it's going to be a real bottleneck for road traffic, too. Now, if you could... I think you can build a uh, line diagonally through. I have the um, common API mod and a couple other things in here, uh, one of which allows building with collision. So I may be able to build a, a, a train line diagonally through an intersection, but I'm not sure that's possible. Okay, we got a fair uh, lift of people here. We took a full load out of Fon uh, Fontana. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be uh, quite an effective uh, line. As you can see, we've got steady traffic on the road there between the towns as well. So we'll ride this all the way up to Garland and uh, see how that goes. Uh, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a line and it's uh, moving passengers. Uh, yeah. It has trains on it. It was a project. Uh, I think this is going to need more trains. <laughs> or longer trains, even. Uh, yeah, probably. So are you going to put longer trains on it? I don't know. Oh, I see. There's a slope there. Okay. Uh, right, so it's not as wonky as it looked. Right. Okay. Uh, so we come along, back to Waco... I could see the Waco, uh, uh, Waco Tampa setup is going to eventually get one big station placed between them if I play the map out into the future. Yeah, it probably. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that, though. Now we're heading back for Durham, and we'll see the rest of the new track. We do have people waiting to go the other way here. You know, a reasonable number, even.
Okay, now off we go to the uh, final station on the line. You know, I'm kind of digging this single track uh, rail operations here. Uh, it, it feels more real, uh, I guess. Uh, I mean, double tracking, you know, is a thing that's done, but it kind of feels a little bit more real. Oh, we're going to pick up a, a full load here, too. Yeah, this is doing okay. And uh, something these single track sections do also is split up the tra the trains. Yeah, I think this is uh, this is working, so uh, excellent. Uh, that is going to be it for this particular uh, outing here. Uh, yeah, uh, that's definitely definitely going to be it there. Now I'm not sure. Maybe Norman will connect to Garland, but Durham's already sort of a hub, so it might might make sense but maybe just a connection through Waco even yeah bring another track out of Waco uh, run it up to Norman Birmingham New Orleans Louisville oh yeah that would be and this gets to the edge of the map so I could uh, bring Oakland and McAllen here. Oh, oh, I like this. This is a good, good project uh, location. So Oakland and McAllen here are are basically isolated, right? So I I could run a uh, train that came from Raleigh through Oakland to Louisville what's the uh, that's a decent crossing point uh, and I could run another one that went through McAllen Santa Rosa Manchester right and maybe connected at Oakland or also at Raleigh now if I was going to do that I'd I'd run it through Oakland. Maybe I'd do that. I don't know. Yeah, so a pair of lines. One coming through Birmingham and Norman. And the other one coming up from Fontana. Going through Carrollton. And uh, Roseville, Manchester, Santa Rosa. That could work. And then run a loop for these four. Oh, yeah. That would be basically perfect. Run a loop for those four. Yeah. I'll forget that by the next uh, episode, but uh, that, that seems like a plan. Yeah, we could have a loop here. Oh, we could have a loop here and a loop here. Hmm. I think I... So that uh, this could be, I don't know, the eights or something like that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to forget that by next time, but I, I'm, it's kind of growing on me. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. So I'll just mention on the way out that I do have a Patreon. You'll find the link in the description if, you know, you, you feel like supporting the channel. Uh, if not, well, the link will still be there, but then you can ignore it, right? Uh, also, uh, the, the usual YouTube business, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that, that business that you can do. And I guess all that said, see you back next time.